For this video, what we'd like to do is demonstrate how we can reference SOLIDWORKS information within 3D VIA. Now, to give you some background, the SOLIDWORKS assembly I'm working with is here. And just to give you an example of a part file here and what properties and information I'm referring to, I'll go to the file properties for this bracket. Here you can see we've got an entered description and number in the file properties. Closing and saving that, and I'll go ahead and close the assembly. Coming back to 3D VIA, I'll go ahead and file open, choosing the assembly itself and get that converted into 3D VIA. That'll just take a moment. Once it's converted, we can see here that the Build Material Workshop has no IDs defined yet. To do so, we can click the BOM Workshop on the Workshops tab. Using the Visible Properties or Visible Geometry option, we can go ahead and assign BOM IDs. Generating that, we see the Build Material show up on the screen immediately. Just a quick tip, on the Home tab, you can see the BOM Table option is enabled. If that were unchecked, the Build Material would not be displayed, so keep an eye on that. Once that's selected, I just want to give you a quick pointer on the build material itself. Some things you might want to set. First of all, the position. We can change that to be free. That gives us the opportunity to go ahead and manipulate this in size and shape. As well as we want to change some of the uh, size for the font. I'll go ahead and make that about 16. And here again, you can see we can man manipulate the size easily and reposition that bomb. In this case, the BOM IDs have been assigned and the description information is really generated from the 3D BIA converted file names and so forth. So what we want to do perhaps is make a change on that. To accomplish this, we can use the column configuration of the BOM, configure BOM columns option. And I'll remove the description variable. You see here it's got the BOM.description coming from 3D BIA. Within the dialog box, available properties let me select Meta Properties. This will allow me to select any custom properties that might have been converted in from the SOLIDWORKS file. Selecting Description, I'll go ahead and add that to the right side. And Number, go ahead and add that on over. And when I click OK, you'll see the bill material updates immediately to reflect that information. This information, once again, came from SOLIDWORKS. Let me sort the BOM IDs. And let me just demonstrate how we can make changes to this further. I'm going to go ahead and open up the SOLIDWORKS assembly once again. I'll select one of the components, like the spider, and open that file. Go to the File Properties, and I'll go ahead and add a description. And I'll go ahead and throw a number in there as well. Click OK, save the spider, and I'll go ahead and close the assembly now. Coming back to 3D VIA now, I'll go ahead and use the update function. Let me save the file. And I'll use the file update to go ahead and reload the assembly. That'll just take a moment. Once that's completed, you can see once again the spider information has been has been converted in. So one thing I can do is go ahead and select the option to go ahead and create the callout. So let me do a window select on all the actors. And I'll go ahead and use the create callouts. And then I can go ahead and position those as I see fit. Once you have the callouts, you can see here there's an option on the bill material to filter on visible callouts. If that's enabled and you were to remove a callout for whatever reason, you can see number 8 is the spider, number 1 is the yolk female, number 3 being the yolk bracket. If I were to delete number 3, you'll see that removed from the bill material itself. Keep in mind that the BOM IDs are not resequenced or renumbered. To add that back, I can go ahead and select the bracket once again and create another callout that puts it back in the table. If you want to keep the bill material at all times, uh, un unchanged, you can disable that option. So if you were to remove, once again, a callout from the screen, or even drag and drop the callout to a different component, it will not affect the bill material. 